And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. 
Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kavaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. What? Hmm. What evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> hmm. So, the Phantom Thieves rise again. since we rode this to Yonganjaya, huh? there. Really? Well, who can blame us? We're on our way to see Lady On. Oh, we finally made it.
Surprise! We get you or what? <laughs> <laughs> we missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. <laughs> Meow. It's gotten hot. Boy, were you surprised. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I gotta open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a good time. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now, thieves, to the hideout. <laughs> Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's Frankie not a joke. Never fails to <laughs> you really never change. You won three of my finals in one day, too. I was really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I... One final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Will you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh! Yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program, though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and P.E. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? What a coinky-dink! Me too. Well, I've been getting by too, but... Without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. Of course, he's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. <laughs> Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Well, let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right. We should figure that stuff out. You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Ugh. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but you're third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop! Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth and beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. A trip does sound nice, but what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue? 
Aren't those always the big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Kicking summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right. Our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. There was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah. It's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it. Right? I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! I sound kind of cool, though. <gasps> I bet it didn't tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it, too? Hello. This is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Thank you. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale, either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! Ugh, AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over. Particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that. Thank you for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. 
Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, he'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? I should write something. memories. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Chief seemed to be the same as ever, too. This place is just as great as I remembered. So, we're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. <laughs> Me too. Well, we should get some sleep. Ah, <sighs> good night. I know not whether to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. That 
is understandable. This is something only felt in the depths of one's heart. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate, and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world? That is the trickster I know so well. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, you must never forget, I am always by your side. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams. Ready to buy some camp and shit? Uh, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello, do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that store you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. We can even figure out how to help with a big question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? What the hell's a suggested event? 
that? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Hiraki is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you? Huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Someone sounds interested. It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki! my hand. What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Hey, you just don't get it. Her being different what makes her so awesome. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady Anne alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. Oh yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around is all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Key 
Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. No, feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed, too. Whoa! For real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Oh. Whoa, check it out. Look, uh -huh. aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey, everyone! You love me, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell was that? There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out! Damn it! Ah, fine, let's do this! We'll take all of you on! Stay sharp, you two. We have fun at the same time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. Hey! Don't forget who you're talking to! This is the offense! Ah, damn! Just what I like to see, Skull! We should get in there, too!
the hell is this place? Oh, I think this could be Alice's palace. Palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. This really is a palace? The distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, I'm even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. <sighs> Guess we're doing this. Your Majesty, 
We captured these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. Couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Hmm. You look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of him, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye bye. Luckily. Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing... So that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. Well, that's good at least. Damn that, Alice! like she's top shit. I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Yo! What's that? I can see it.
What is this place? Who are you? You are... a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. I make for a good companion to people. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? down here by that Alice girl too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories. So I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two. Come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? Came out of a giant box? What kind of crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you. If you're in trouble, I can help. Humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So, you want to help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would. Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Whoa, hey, don't go out there alone! What now, Joker? Right. She could be attacked by shadows any second now. You sure about that? She's still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows! Oh, crap, too late! Get behind us, Sophia! Where the hell they come from? Nobody's coming for us if we go down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we are the Phantom Thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. 